in this video I finally get my hands on a native XC and I get to try it out so I know I'm a Hobie guy but I wanted a really good moving water river boat so I broke down and got a native and that's what we're doing today is we're here at the Pigeon River in Canton and we're gonna try this bad boy out it's not a review I mean if you want to call it a review call it a review I don't care but I'm just here to play with it and see what it can do in the water let's get it unloaded So here I am, I'm actually, this is actually kind of my home river here in my hometown where I live. And uh, like I said, we got a, a new to me native Slayer XC. And uh, this is known as their moving waters boat or river boat, whatever you want to call it. But I've been wanting to actually get one of these for a long time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of play around here in my local river. I didn't, I don't have this thing kitted out. I don't have anything on it. It's 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 new to me. I didn't even, uh, I didn't even bring a fishing pole or nothing to fish with. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do a little exploring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go upstream and just kind of check it out, see how the boat moves, see how it feels. Like I said, this is the first time I've been in one of these. And uh, I'm really excited for it, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. So this thing's pretty sweet, but let me tell you how ghetto I am. I don't have a paddle for this boat because I bought it from a buddy of mine that worked for Native. And all I had was my Hobie paddles. <laughs> so we're, we're rocking a Hobie paddle in a Native boat. Let's see how we do this on the river. It's a, it's a little shallow over some rocks here. Can't wait to rig this thing out, bring some fishing poles out on the river. The only thing is, where I parked, I'm gonna have to drag this thing up over some rocks because I don't know if I can paddle up through there. 
but we're gonna try. Everything I heard was true. And this is a solid, solid boat. Tracks good, floats good, stable. I really did not think I was going to do that. <laughs> I thought I was going to be getting out and dragging this thing. I got stuck on a rock. But I shimmy a little bit and it come off. So. Just a ton of fish in here. Well, let's put it on the truck and get loaded up and I'll tell you exactly what I think. So, the Native XC, what is my final thoughts on this boat? Well, I got to tell you, that is a badass boat. I really, really like that boat. In fact, my only regret is not getting one sooner to fish lakes and rivers. Well, rivers, I got my pedal drive boats for lakes and the ocean, but I really, really like the boat. It tracks well. It goes super skinny and it is very stable. Like if you wanted a boat and you didn't want to spend the money on a pedal drive boat, but you wanted stability, that's your boat. I would really like to take this boat to a little bit rougher water and see how it handled that and see how it performed in some more current and a little bit more rapids and a little, little more flow situation. Uh, but for what I just played with today and my overall thoughts man this is a great boat and listen I know I'm a Hobie guy I have Hobies but I've owned about every kind of kayak there is out there now and I gotta tell you until one of them kayaks puts my name on a check I don't have brand loyalties if I like it I like it if I don't I don't and I'm gonna tell you right now I like the XC the only problem with the XC is they're discontinuing it and they may be tough to get or tough to get parts for in the future. But I've got one now, I'm happy with it, and I'm really looking forward to trying it out on other bodies of water. So y'all stick around. I'll do another video where I actually fish out of it and I kit it out and I put all kind of stuff on it to help me maneuver control in the river better. So look out for that video and we'll check in later.